Hello, see you again. Last time, I showed you how to use the pencil tool for drawing. Today, we'll take it a step further and add some details to make your work more complete. If you pick up just a bit more, I think you'll be able to use it right away. Let's start with the sculpt mode of the pencil tool. It's great for editing lines. Continuing your drawing, and closing curves. Just remember to always draw on the line. You can also draw with the brush tool or pen tool, and then use the sculpt mode of the pencil tool to refine your lines. Another option is to use the node tool for adjustments. Select the curve then, for example, use the alternate key to create a straight line. Or the control key to delete the curve between two nodes. For more details, check out my video about the pencil tool on my channel. Here's something I use regularly. Now, let's try drawing. In the pencil tool, you can use pressure sensitivity to control your strokes and the width tool to adjust the line width. Each tool works well together. Click scale with object to get the proportions for the stroke lines, if you want to scale the character in the future. Drawing cartoons like this, requires sharp lines that can be used in various print media without losing image quality. Yes it can also be done in raster mode, depending on the purpose of the work. Try to keep your lines as closed as possible for drawing. Take a look at this example. Even though the line is a closed area. But in vector mode, it might not be fully closed. You'll need to move the node point to snap it to the line to ensure it's a closed area. Or draw the line so that they intersect before you can color it. If you're unsure where the gap is, you can use the expand stroke method then color instead. I use this often when drawing on vector mode. For this character, select all the stroke line. Go to the layer, expand stroke and then color. For any parts that can't be filled with color, I'll use the pencil tool or brush tool instead. Once you're done, you'll have a vector cartoon image that can be scaled without losing quality. And the colors can be easily changed to match your customer's request if you combine the same colors into one piece. 
That's why I prefer working in vector. Just keep in mind, if you expand the stroke, editing might be a bit trickier than with regular stroke lines. And another thing is, if you don't use expand stroke when applying the pressure, the stroke may lose its shape when you erase it. That's it for this video. But wait, I'll show you how to draw an ice cream bar next. I won't be covering packaging design here. Let's focus solely on drawing or else this video will get too long. Personally, I think that if you know the principles and how things work, you can definitely do it. You might not have tools that make the work easier, but it's still enough to produce similar results. Click the Insert Inside Selection button at the top. This will allow you to draw within the vector shape, similar to using a clipping mask. For those who haven't seen my previous videos, You can use the gradient tool to shade the chocolate color, and add a little Gaussian blur for a smooth effect. Once you've got the color you like, sprinkle some nuts on it. You can enhance your drawing with various effects like 3D, shadows, and Gaussian blur. I know everyone has their own drawing style, workflow, and skill level with different programs. But give Affinity Designer a try. See how much you use the options or additional features in the program. You might end up really liking it. Especially only need to pay once. If you love drawing, for whatever reason, I'm committed to making videos that you can really use. If you have any suggestions or requests, please leave a comment below. Hope to see you again and thank you for watching this video.